your first self-built PC with Hungry Gizmo. So you've decided to take the plunge, to build your own homemade PC. They do say it's as easy as putting together a Lego set, which means that you probably need this guide. Let's start. Remember, watch the entire guide at least once before beginning work on your own self-built personal computer build. Hungry Gizmo takes no responsibility to any damage from improper or proper ability to follow instructions. The motherboard, or as the cool kids say, the MOBO. This is where you put your CPU. Forget the i7 or the Ryzen, I have chosen the Celeron. This is the most accelerated CPU on the market. Your CPU will come with instructions on how to prepare it for installation. In this specific model, we have a corner notch that needs to be filed down. Don't worry about the pins. There are several hundred. Filing down a few is fine. With that done, we place it in the socket. As you can tell, it does not insert all the way. For this reason, we will need to use our special applicator tool. Use it to firmly press the CPU into the socket. Perfect. As you can see, very firm and snug. What about the heatsink? Yes. Just like our bodies, we need a way to cool down the brain. You know how that minty fresh toothpaste does wonders at giving you a fresh cool sensation? Yes? The same goes for your CPU. Apply liberally. Go ahead and place the heatsink firmly. Beautiful, isn't it? Now let's get to the case, the mid tower. This is where we place all of our components. Make sure to carefully place your motherboard inside. At this point, go ahead and grab a third of a cup of redundant circuitry that you have laying around, apply it evenly. A little touch of USB. Throw in one full-size hard drive, and maybe we'll put in a DVD drive, you know, for those days that you yearn for physical media, if you're that type. Oh yeah, and this is something I do a little bit different than most recipes. Grab a floppy drive, and place your memory stick snugly inside. Trust me on this one, it's just that little extra bit of added attention detail. Add in proper cabling to tie all the ingredients together, and we're just about done. Alligator clips. For power, clip the negative end directly to your case, and the positive clip can be clipped anywhere on the motherboard. At this point, place the cover on to seal it all in. And we can now plug it Coming next time, The Adventures of Ram CPU. Where are our adventurers now? What has Intel been up to? Can Ryzen be stopped? Remember, Ram don't take sides. Make sure to join us on our next adventure. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you didn't, dislike. And no matter where you are in the world, good day, good night, good morning, bye bye.